there are three things that we need to think about. Number one, these companies right here have been operating in a way where they take too little assets and then put it against too much borrowing. And they got themselves out on a limb. And then they were so bad off that they actually put the public in jeopardy. And that's a problem. And that means we have to have more oversight. We simply have to have more oversight right now to make sure that people understand that they can't operate their businesses that way against the public interest. Second of all, we've seen lending practices go wrong. We've seen people bring regular folks in and tell them that they can make mortgage payments that they, in fact, can't make. That puts those folks in trouble. They don't understand exactly what they're getting into. And we need to have oversight to make sure that that kind of unethical activity so that they can get commissions is not going to be continued to be tolerated. And third, we've got to recognize that people are under stress here. And gas prices is the principal problem. The whole structure looked just fine when everybody was doing just fine and we weren't seeing $120 a barrel oil or $110 or even $100 a barrel oil. That then has raised gas prices to the point where people are under stress. That is the central problem that we're facing right now. We've got to do something about a substantial energy policy that will restore people's jobs, that will restore people's opportunities, more of their spending and their opportunities regularly out there on the street. It's the right policy for people, and it's going to help undergird exactly what we're talking about here on Wall Street.